Good morning, probably. Good morning. Mostly Europe, I guess, is the time zone. But it's good evening here. Off to Elterswift again for the second night in a row. I'm after these Meilenstein wheels. This will be my... I've lost count of how many times I've gone up Elp or Elp the Zwift. Uh, a few people still V Everesting. Francis Cade has just started a double V Everest. Absolute madman. Uh, his stream is also up here on YouTube. So I'm sure a lot of people are following Francis as well. So we might not... We'll cross paths with him at some point, but I'm not sure if I'll ride past him. It's probably going the other way. I think he's about a few kilometers into his second ascent. So all looking good. Alrighty. <clears throat> Heaps of bunches out. Looking good. Tons of people out. But before we start my ascent today, we're going to change some wheels over. So I'll go buy some new wheels. Alrighty. And I have some new headphones to test out on the way. So I'll be doing a few things tonight. So I'll be here for another hour or so, at least, getting all this in. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. So, security settings sorted. We should be online and live. Because that wasn't sorted before. YouTube does really strange things with its online streams. Anyway, here we go. Heading out to Elp the Zwift. Quite a few people on Elp the Zwift at the moment doing um, their V Everesting. Francis Cade's out there doing a double. <laughs> Absolute mad, and we won't cross paths because he is a few k's into his second descent already, and I'm just heading out there. Again, just cruise ride tonight. I'm on the Suto, putting it through its paces, getting to the top. But I want these Meilenstein wheels. I just cannot unlock these wheels. Gloves, I am done with. But we'll see how we go. But before we get there, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some new wheels. I, I'm I found some wheels. That I can dress up the bike better than this. So we'll buy some new wheels before we get to the top of the climb. <laughs> uh, Francis Cade's also live. Uh, if you head over to Francis's channel, uh, the next 24 hours I think he is streaming for. Absolute uh, solid effort, that one. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. I am not V Everesting, absolutely not. No. I'm. Tourist climbing today. Just like last night, we'll just tick up to the top. I want these wheels. I've got to keep getting to the top of Elta Zwift to spin that wheel to get those uh, lightweight Meilensteins. But we'll get through this dirt section first. <clears throat> Negative two. I wonder what was dropping out of resistance. Radio. Okay. Yeah, Francis is going well. Any tips on setting a PR on the Alp? Ah, it's just like normal cycling. Don't go too hard too early. That's it. It's a long ride. It's, it's a hard one to pace. It's, it's a full hour effort, give or take. 
So many people on at the moment. 15,000 on this. That's just this course too, I think. That's crazy. There are dots everywhere. So I've got the phone view here. That's nuts. That is so good to see. <clears throat> oh, I still have to fix the size of that chat window too. Let's see if I can do that. 380. Let's see if that works. That must be close. Must be close. Um, Bluetooth to the Suto. Trying to rid myself of Ant Plus for just normal riding along for everyday stuff. I've been telling a lot of people that Bluetooth has been working fine for me, uh, which it has been, but we still need to test it, don't we, across the range? So here we are. Cameron Evans, how are we doing? So my latest ride on script, it's getting better. It's getting better. It's not one for one though, if the ride ons flood down pretty quick. But it's all good. Easter eggs, I get to pay, play Easter Bunny tonight. Sorry, Easter Bunny's real. Easter Bunny isn't me. I, we're going on a little Easter egg hunt with little Maxwell tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. He'll have no idea what's going on. He's only eight months old, but I'm going to love that. Christmas was awesome. Easter is broken this year for the world, but we'll make of it what we can. <clears throat> All right, hope everyone is well and enjoying their... I don't know what day it is. It's not a weekend, it's not a holiday, it's not... The world's a bit flipped. Do it sub 50 guaranteed wheels, Tom. Myth broke, well, myth busted. I did a 49.56 the other day and got gloves or, or something again. Didn't happen, did not happen. Reese Howell, how are you doing? Reese Howe saw this, uh, this live video spin up a little earlier than expected. Good pick up. <laughs> Meilenstein's on the 13th attempt. According to Strava, this is going to be... This could be very close to my 13th attempt. I was going to get on here and commit to doing the Alp day after day after day until I got the wheels. And then I thought that would mean I have to ride the Alp to Zwift day after day. So I'm going to commit to trying to get the wheels, that's all. <laughs> There's a sloth, high five. Look how many people are on here, this is crazy. This is where we used to go to hide out on Watopia when we wanted to ride solo. <clears throat> Suji Power Meter, yeah, the Suji and the XKD Power Meter. Things are a bit quiet out of China at the moment <coughs> for obvious reasons. Um, they're. Where's my drinks? Here. They're close, they're close. So the latest update on those were. Power is good from Suji. Uh, so behind the scenes, I'm testing a few uh, spider-based power meters from some Chinese manufacturers. They have really good potential. But there's a bit of to and froing with my feedback and updates and feedback and updates and a few weird things that I'm seeing. So like in peak, I hope we can get things sorted and oh, Eric Min says right on, there we go, CEO. He must have me on auto, auto notify. Um, <clears throat> both of them showed some really weird auto zero issues and I've been looking at auto zero with power meters quite a bit lately looking at the magic zero with the quark that's on this bike um, vector threes do some really funky auto zero things with the pedals really hard to do auto zero with pedals because you're always on the pedals um, but in short review soonish if I don't hear back from my I guess I just drop a review in a couple of weeks but I'm not sure if people can actually buy them it's it's a good story though like there's a lot of to and fro there's a lot of 
looking at the data, then fixing the data, and then something else breaks. Here we go, help the Zwift. But first, we're gonna go buy some wheels. I'm going to do help the Zwift on new wheels, looking to win the other wheels at the top. So we'll go to the shop in a minute and spend some, um, spend some coin. Uh, AliExpress, they're still shipping worldwide. Hopefully, I don't know. <clears throat> kick a snap or prosciutto smart, ah, kick a snap. Yep, snap's probably the top of the range wheel on trainer. But today, I'm on the sweet door. I thought I'd put the picture of it back down there with the little logo so people know what I'm on. I've got the matching nicks too. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's go buy some wheels before we head up to the top. Not going to be a fast ride today, probably mostly in blue down there. But what we do need is some new wheels. Will you be watching Tom Dumoulin? God, that in-game chat is just off the chops. <laughs> Garage, let's do it, let's go buy some wheels. Now what I spotted in here, this is the wheel shop. I've got more drops than I need. What I did spot, so you, you can't buy the lightweight Mylan Steins in the shop here. This is why they're so sought after. You have to win them at the top and to win them takes a while. What I did spot though, is the Buffalo wheels that I don't have. I have to purchase the Buffalo wheels. I've had the Buffalo bike since beta days. Um, do we have enough resolution here? If I go full screen, we might be able to say, uh, say it. So I don't have the original Buffalo wheels. I've been riding around on the, um, the 808, uh, 808, 900 combo or whatever it is, 909. Um, but if you look at the detail, they're GP4000s. Look at that. Anyway, we'll buy those. Confirm. But they're not the ones I'm going to be riding today. Uh, do we want to equip them? No, we don't. There's also safety wheels. The safety wheels are 710,000 drops. Damn. The wheels I'm going to be riding today... I only spotted these in the drop shop the other day. I haven't been looking at the drop shop much at all. Check these beasts out. So it's the 858 and the Super 9. That is ridiculous. That's going to look crazy. And that's what I'm going to buy. Let's do it. Equip. Yeah! How silly does that look? And that's what it's all about. It's not about performance today. We're just going to get to the top. We'll give a few ride-ons with the V Everesting. We'll uh, sit in the chat all night. Currently quarter to eight in the evening here. Max is down. He's sleeping. Hopefully he continues to sleep. So we're good. We're in for the long haul to the top on this ridiculous bike. Um, I'll stop bantering and get riding. I think it looks completely silly. But that's what cycling is all about sometimes. Here we go. What do we look like? <laughs> My word. There we go. Let's get to the top on that, and hopefully we can win those Meilensteins. How's my German, by the way? Reese, is it all right? And what does that word mean? It must mean something. It must mean expensive. It must mean don't crash them. But that looks... I think in the sunlight, that's going to look ridic. Absolutely ridic. <laughs> cool, cool. It means milestone. Okay, yeah. Milestone, yeah, cool. I've got to work on my pronunciation. Everyone pulls me up on... I'm an Aussie from country Victoria. My pronunciation's always going to be horrible. Oof! Who let the dogs out? What was that? Me! I was in the wrong gear there. Oof! Okay. Hot tip on the pseudo. It packs a punch. This is going to be a grind. Oof. Uh, Wahoo Bike's been very good. You'll need to ask Veronica Mitchich about that, who's just in the chat as well. She's been writing it. Oh, this is going to be a grind. I think I've only got a 25 on this. Oof. Yeah, Francis, I was in the chat to have a Francis before. I dropped in some, uh, some contributions to what he's 
Pay's charity today. Off. Yeah, it's at 100%, don't worry about that. You're gonna watch me suffer. It's for these damn wheels. We have to get these wheels. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm committed, I'm committed. I've had the drinks, we have the tunes. Oh man, we're gonna <laughs> bids on the gloves. 14th time, oh, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> you saw last night's stream. I made it felt a bit sweary at the end. Oh, why not change the training difficulty settings, Stefan? If I was to change the training difficulty settings, with 310 people watching, I'd have to put a, a suit of armor on and not look at the chat. I'm committed here. Off. <laughs> now, any Aussie watching the chat, if you can tell me, if you got Vaughn's joke, they're hardened up, Stefan. Eric Banner did a skit many years ago. So that was an epic in-joke from Vaughn there. Well played. Ben, you got the wheels. Off. Spot on, Stefan. <laughs> oh, sorry for blasting the audio there. <laughs> I'm gonna need a laugh by the time I get to the top. This is brutal. Mental note, check the cassette I install. I really didn't think it'd be this bad, but let's not complain. Let's give some ride-ons. Let's go find Francis. C-A-D-E. How many Cades are there? Too many Cades. There we go. My word. And let's pop up the fan view of Francis. Where is he? He's doing really well. I think he's matching my RPM as well. So we're in fan view now of Francis, who's also streaming. 40 RPM. Also, oh, Francis now has a cadence sensor. He didn't have one before. Someone get Francis a heart rate monitor too by the end of the, end of the day. Oh, my lungs aren't ready for this. Robert, how are we doing, mate? Going well here, thanks. Going well. Well, as well as can be. What is this quest? I'm looking for the Meilensteins at the top. I'm out on the <clears throat> Elp de Zwift with hundreds and hundreds of other people. We'll drop some ride-ons as we go. And uh, just adding to the, the atmosphere. I'm not doing anything special today. Everyone else, either V Everesting or Double Everesting, they are going hard and long. All right, back to me. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Maybe I should have warmed up. Greetings from Germany. Hey, Germany. I miss you guys this year. Usually I'm uh, over there for Eurobike. Not quite sure that'll be happening. You know I'd never calculate my CDA. I went to the tunnel once, just for some basic tips. That really is about it. Um, I did some regression testing using. Uh, golden Cheetah. Is it the Chung method in that? Where we line everything up? 
hang on. I don't make sense above 160 beats, so I'm getting close. <laughs> no, no lightweight wheels yet, that's what we're going for today. So I'll be here for a while. If you want to tune in for the chat, I'll try and banter. If you want to tune in in about an hour's time, there'll be celebrations or disappointments. Wow. Okay, Suto packs a punch. No question. There's no riding easy. I'm trying to aim for my easy cadence, but... I'm gonna have to focus on this one. I haven't tried a V-Everesting, no. No, in my competitive days, everything was short, sharp, five, 10 minute power. Uh, I think my longest TT was probably an hour and a half but not the Everesting though. <laughs> You've commanded it. You gotta watch this on the television. Ah, so it's, yeah, I'm over 163. Hence me not making sense. Oh, push, come on. Go the multi right ons they're working well. Uh, no, I'm not on the motion plate at the moment. I've sneakily lent that out to somebody for a week or two to get some some of my independent, sorry, an independent feedback who's not me. I, I, just as Saris or someone at media get it out to me for my feedback, I do the same if I'm able to. So somebody has that on loan from me. So more testing. Nathan asks how Max is going. Max is really well. Uh, Easter Sunday tomorrow, so we'll do the Easter egg hunt with little Maxie. I can't wait. Let's drop the featherweight because nothing's gonna save me at this point. The Everesting, thumbs ups, oof. <laughs> Losing my network connection right at the top, okay. That should still work. Everything within Zwift is computed within the game, within moving me forward, is done locally. So the pairing, the rendering, everything. I believe the only thing that's sent, it will be even the leaderboards. So my leaderboard will go there locally. So the spin wheel should happen even if I'm offline. New Zealand, how are we doing? We love your Prime Minister, New Zealand. Can you share it with the rest of the world? The rest of the world needs a New Zealand Prime Minister. <clears throat> uh, the Strava segments aren't ruined. Nope. Oh, from the uh, Ineos ride? No, they're... In your sport, getting close to where Z Power people will set the benchmarks. So, no, no fear of that. Strava did, though, tidy up the virtual segments online. If you saw my video from today, <laughs> okay, check this out. I should be able to hit a button and say, G'day, enter. Darn, I got a macro for that. Awesome. Um, I'll talk about that more in a sec. So Strava removing all the junk segments, which trimmed, trimmed down the noise. Eighteen to go. Yeah, I did. I did check to see if very intense was gone, and guess what? R.I.P. First attempt, very intense. 2014 through to 2020. It's gone. <clears throat> hey, David from Indonesia. <laughs> the 
Slipping between Francis and me. Francis is going long. Have a look at all these people riding up the Zwift. Look at them all coming. That's just phenomenal. Alright. I think, I think Cadence Thoughts. Smooth. Good form. We're here for the long haul. Only 10.2k to go. Inferno, you made very intense. Are you responsible for all the memes? Because that was damn good. These are almost race watts just ticking the gear over. Wow. I am committed. Let's do it. 364 viewers. That is insane. Thanks everyone for chiming in. I appreciate uh, the views. It really is what keeps the channel alive. And those corners are what keep me alive. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate anybody subscribing. If you haven't, if you're a subscriber, thank you. Subscription is uh, what keeps the channel bumped up and rolling along. No slacking off, no. I'll get it done. We'll get there. Don't worry. It's not. It won't be big watts, but there'll be watts. Off. So, if I wasn't live streaming, I'd probably back the trainer off to probably 80%. <laughs> but I <coughs> cannot do it while you're home live streaming. That's kicking me. That is. That's nuts. 39.25 I think it is. Whew. Alrighty. Ken uh, raided the, uh, the Elp last night. I uh, got a preview of his setup just before he went live. Just checking on everything. And uh, I saw what he was doing. I thought, oh, that's, that's a great idea. And uh, his video went really well. So if people didn't see it, DC Remaker did Elp the Zwift last night with Zwift in one screen on one side of the screen and full gas on the other um, from the same power source and rode up with every setting the same. I think full gas got him to the top quicker, I think. I didn't. I saw right at the end. I jumped at the end, it was a long watch. Uh, the pseudo is. It's technically a mid-range trainer in the price point and feature-wise. But like most mid-range trainers, they're beating up on the, the bigger units a lot. Um, the core, lots of people riding the core versus the Kicker 18. And the Suto, and then the Diretto versus the Drivo. Elite love to do multiple, multiple trainers. They're getting better. <laughs> but, so you have the Diretto and the Suto. The Suto is probably just a little bit under the Diretto or Diretto X now. Oh, Zwift got there first, okay. Anthony Haywood, right on. Uh, we don't see more smart rollers because there's no market for them. And that's the brutal honesty that has uh, got me into a lot of colourful conversations where opinion gets messed up with fact. Fact being is nobody wants rollers. No, uh, somebody who wants an interactive experience on Zwift that can do this who can get out of the saddle and sprint, who doesn't need to learn how to ride a bike again. The market's not there 
four rollers. They have a purpose for the training cyclist. Uh, a few other benefits here and there. There's just, for the experience that is indoor cycling now, rollers just aren't going to, going to do too well. Also issues with technology, accuracy, spin downs. Uh, I think the biggest one though is, oh, I love these corners, is that people have to relearn to ride a bike again. Anybody can get on a, a fixed trainer and ride. I've seen experienced cyclists have to learn how to ride rollers. So there's, there's a hurdle there. I don't sell them, I don't, I've got no skin of the game for them, but that's my take on the, uh, that segment of the market. I have a number of them, sure. My favorite smart trainer, uh, the kicker range for racing, H3 for erg, Neo for power testing. Uh, that's money aside, or just picking what's out there. But then you've got things like budget, uh, ease of use for setup, and things like that. I think the winner for the ease of use for setup is the pseudo that I'm on. Comes with a cassette. You have to lift out of the box, put the legs out, and you are done. That's pretty appealing. <clears throat> the Drivo looks like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it does, it does. Uh, Flux 2, it's about three meters that way. Big bunch, right ons. Um, haven't gotten to it yet. The fluxes scare me, I'll be honest. Anybody playing the long game, my initial experience with the flux units was suboptimal, to carefully pick my words. The third one I had, I couldn't break, so that's okay. But again, I'm loving these corners. Flux S I had a few issues with, but there was a trick that I couldn't figure out that uh, you have to calibrate that from a zero start point. I was always rolling along, rolling along, waiting for it to tell me to go harder. Tax Magnum has the best ride feel? No, no. Magnum is a cross between rollers and and a moving belt, because that's exactly what it is. The Magnum is fun, but if you take an experienced cyclist from the road and have to teach them how to ride something again, you're gonna struggle with a product. It's fun, I'll give it that. If I had space for one, I wouldn't buy one, but I would put one in a space. <laughs> hey, from Spain, hope you're well. Spain's been in lockdown. I think almost for the longest time. Hope you're getting some riding in, indoors. No Twitch stream, no. My people are here on YouTube tonight. 390 concurrent viewers. That's 405, it's bumping up, wow. So whilst the quality of the stream isn't as good due to YouTube, it's where everyone is, so hopefully everyone enjoys this one or enjoys watching me suffer and try and get those Meilensteins. We need those wheels at the top. 30,000 on Zwift soon. I think we went past that the other day. There we go. 30,000 elevation 310. But when you look at it in days, 40 days, 10 hours of moving time, that doesn't seem a lot. Is there a market for indoor cycling gear, such as jerseys and nicks and things? Uh, I think there is. I never wear a top if I'm riding solo or not streaming. If I'm streaming, I'll always have a top on. Um, a few companies have tried. I think the cycling community 
still would rather laugh at that. I think Wahoo brought out some uh, in conjunction with Lacole. Primal, there we go. Top wise, it'd be nice to have a really light top, like an undertop with a bit of arm on it or something. Uh, I think there's a market for it, but yeah, the comments are pretty brutal. Old kit works well for now. Oof, what is that percentage? 13. So the sweet door will do t up to 15. And I haven't changed gear much. <laughs> All right, 4K in. We'll drop some more right ons. 23,000 people on Zwift now, wow. We could use a base layer instead of a jersey, yep. I don't have any uh, armed base layers. Do I know what trainers respond? Trainers responding later than Zwift input. Uh, yeah, sorry, I might miss a question, so feel free to ask again. Um, don't think you're annoying me if you're asking a question again. I will miss it at this heart rate and power and cadence. Um, trainer response time is a can of worms I haven't looked at closely, which may sound weird because I've ridden a lot of trainers, but there's a lot that goes into that. <clears throat> Ant Plus, Bluetooth can both be a little different. What system you're on can be different again. If you're on an iPad and the resources and speed of the system that you're on can influence that. Uh, Troy, yes, I've been over to Francis's channel. I also recommend anybody checking out Francis's channel at the moment. He's double Everesting and raising some cash. So if you're feeling festive, you can drop some coin over there for Francis. I'll just get my dad bod rig out. <laughs> no, I like to keep things nice, pretty, pretty tidy on here. Kikakura Elite Suto. Dan asks, ah, Dan S asks, um, if you can find either, pick the first one you can find. Uh, the core definitely packs a punch as you're seeing right here. I've spent a lot more time on the core. It's a, it's a close girl call, that one. So both do power, cadence, controllable, and speed. Uh, but I think at the moment, smart trainers are sold out worldwide. All right, come on, corner, let up. Oh. Uh, somebody asked how Max and Von and I were doing over Easter. We're doing well, thank you. Uh, Easter's usually a very big time for our family. But this year it's not. It'll be over Zoom. Yeah, you, this, this year had some early teething issues for sure. Uh, vibration at flywheel speeds, yeah. That was more the drive wheel. I believe they've fixed those. But no issues with flywheel speed at the moment. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but damn, whatever you go for, let me know. Uh, if you get the core, just throw a comment over on my core video. I see all the new comments that pop up across all the, the videos. Am I making sense? Um, it's always good to hear yeah, other people's experience with tech as well. Next step for indoor trainers, availability is the next step. <laughs> uh, I hope to see the connectivity change to Wi-Fi rather than Bluetooth or AMP+. So many benefits for Wi-Fi. A trainer could act as a connection hub. So if your trainer was on five gig Wi-Fi, what are we talking, two millisecond response time to your local machine on the same network? 
that's a lot quicker than four hertz which is 250 milliseconds at the moment so response time can be quicker secure less susceptible to interference on the five gig range and could act as a connection point for heart rate monitors cadence sensors power meters put some smarts into the smart trainer pretty much what uh sorry i'll get back to this what the companion app does now via bluetooth the companion app can take in a ton of bluetooth connections and push them over your network to your Zwift machine. <clears throat> Time is currently 8.09 p.m. Whew. Is Zwift working hard to stop the cheats? Yeah. That's one that I've talked about for years and years and years, well before Zwift even got popular. Uh, they're trying to fix it, but me discussing it doesn't fix the problem. I believe in the races, they're p pinging a few people. Now there's some active uh, sandbagging things going on. But the amount of people that actually affects is very, very small. Very small. It can get under everybody's skin, but for me right now, if someone came past at 600 watts, doesn't impact my experience whatsoever. Do I update my weight on Zwift each year? Every few weeks I double check it. Off. Upgrade your Drivo, what to go for? <laughs> Again, whatever's available at the moment. Where are we? 10. All right, we're not quite halfway, okay. Smart bikes are the next choice. They won't replace direct drive trainers. Mainly because people love riding their own bikes and taking that choice away from them or that option away from them. I don't think that appeals to everyone. Smart bikes appeals to a whole new market. The kicker bike at the moment is in our, uh, our dining room and it's quiet, it's clean and it just works. I would not have a, a bicycle in that room with the chain, and the gear change noises and everything. 447 viewers, that's, that's got to be a record for the channel so I appreciate everyone tuning in. If it's the first time you've tuned in, I usually spend my time here babbling on, answering questions, or if I don't know the answer, which is quite often, I'll point people in the right direction. So if you have any questions, tech questions, fire away. Questions about the channel, uh, my history on bikes, I guess. It's kind of weird being known as the YouTuber. I was the IT guy once, then the time trialist, then, then the YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of race stories lately because we're not going anywhere. If you've seen some llama drives where Von and I and Max are driving somewhere, every now and then I'll look out the window and point where we've raced before because we've covered a lot of Victoria. But Llama drives are on hold, as you don't go anywhere these days. Galaxy Walks Active 2. No, I've only used my um, watch experience is limited. Uh, my experience with wrist heart rate is pretty bad indoors. Arm strap, fine. Outdoors wrist, fine. Indoors, it's not it. It doesn't work for me. Do I have a day job putting together videos for YouTube? 
is a day job, a night job, a morning job. That's it now. So that's why I appreciate the subs. It keeps things ticking over. Uh, I won't be passing Francis. Francis will be up the road somewhere. I jumped into his live stream before in the comments. His viewers are going crazy as well. It's great. They've already reached their fundraise goal already. And he's just started. Super cool to see. How much time did I ride outdoors before this lockdown? It was about 50-50. Because a lot of the power meters needed outdoor testing. Not just indoor stuff, but now we can still ride outside here. We can still go out and exercise, but there's a lot going on indoors and I thought let's just keep it indoors for now. There goes someone at 10 watts a kilo. Right on brah. Bike Mike, three pounds, thank you. Oh, three euro. Thank you. <laughs> That's coffee. Brilliant. Phil Jones, happy Easter. What bike Atom user? Make sure you update the firmware on that. Um, should I get a power meter for my road bike? What would I recommend? Absolutely, you should get a power meter for your road bike. Recommendations on power meters. If you head over to gplama.com, my website, and along the top bar will be my power meter recommendations. That's updated almost weekly. Let me have a look here. gplama.com. Cycling power meter guide, second there on the menu. And there lists every single power meter that I've ever ridden. Updated 19th of March. I think it's when I stopped riding outdoors. Uh, and right at the top lists the Fivero Asioma. So what I've done there is given a paragraph or two on every single power meter that I've ridden and a verdict. That or that. Simple. So that's probably a good place to start. Have I raced the track? Yes, I have. Uh, Kilo Pursuits Omnium about 10 years ago now. Fastest kilo time was 107. I'm not a kilo rider, but those starts killed me. Uh, 3000 meter pursuit, 327. But that's nowadays the time they're doing for the pursuit. Unbelievable. Brad Wright, £9.99. Thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Happy Easter. Do I sometimes miss my old IT days? Ken, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Not one bit. The reason being is I'm still in it. <clears throat> Getting the right ons on screen here. That's PowerShell scripting. All the, uh, the Strava stats that I used to do was all API backend stuff and some sneaky shell scripting. Uh, setting up all this stream stuff. It's all IT, you just can't get away from it. So, but I don't miss being on the clock and charging out, etc. <laughs> Dual side pedals are worth it, yes. <sighs> all right, we're getting to the top now. Wheel on trainer, snap. We're yet to see the tool from Elite. That couldn't be far off. Tax Bushudo. I can't remember, to be brutally honest. I may have done the Vortex, but not the Bushudo. I've done one or the other. I don't think I've done the Bushudo.
Am I doing any racing? No. I did the oat route the other day. That was fun. It wasn't a race as such. It was just getting it done. That turned my little battle. Uh, for this stream right here is a Windows 10 machine running a, an Intel i7 Gen, 9th Gen with an NVIDIA RDX 2060. Still on the Buffalo bike and looking absolutely ridiculous because I have these wheels on it. Check this out. That's beautiful. At the start of the stream I purchased those wheels just for this climb because they look Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Best climb in Australia outdoors? Ooh. Hardest climb is Baha, Mount Borbor. I think that's 13% for 6Ks. That's crazy hard. Longest climb that I've raced, Mount Hotham. It's 30 kilometers. Um, it's about it, I think. There's no favourite as such. Seven to go. Mount Buffalo is nice. Mount Buffalo is a uh, nice and consistent. I set my best time up Buffalo back when I had a broken bike. I had two gears on the back, that was it. So I had to pace that differently than normal. And at Buffalo, it kicks up from the gatehouse. I, most of the climbs we've ridden, we've broken down kilometer by kilometer, if not more. But Buffalo, it's a good one. Many different sections, it had personality. And we had some timing sections that we knew when we were on pace. Uh, flat section through the middle. I think breaking those climbs up like that makes them go a lot faster. Bauble is fun to drive up. <laughs> Have a race photo of me from Tony Reekman from years ago. And I am coming in fourth, I think, at the time. We had a, it's a 100k race finishing with the 6k's like that. And my eyes were just, I was out. Touche Pass, thank you for the donation. Much appreciated. Give myself a Chico roll, mate, I will, I will. <laughs> Nobody knows what's in a Chico roll, but that's what makes them taste so good. Ruben Esteban from Spain. Good morning. Uh, Maven was on riding yesterday. The Mave went live. I'm uh, not live. He, my uh, notifications had popped up that Mave was riding. J or V Everson. Good job. Cycling tips kit. Ride on. So V Everson, if people aren't aware, <clears throat> in a single ride. You have to gain at least 8848 eight, meters in elevation. And you see me suffering now for 52 minutes, and I've gained 700 meters of elevation. So <laughs> they are committed. They are committed. Race up Mount Panorama. Yeah, there's me looking for gears that aren't there. Nice one, me. It should zap me. That's hilarious. No digging deep here. Hey! Someone gave me a wave, let me do my button press again. G'day. <laughs> Favorite trainer of all time, Le Mans Revolution. Am I still running that uh, power meter pod, power meter pedal hack? SPD, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have a gravel bike, I had the pedals. The pedals came off the bike when I had to hand that one back. 
Llama or a mountain bike. No, no, buffalo bike. Buffalo rig. Geelong. <laughs> Best time up with the 1 in 20. Um, I can't recall. I think it was 14.42. Best power up the 1 in 20 would have been 4.30 watts. But my best time up the 1 in 20 and my best power up the 1 in 20 were two different days. I think it was, a four, it was the 13s. It must have been the 14s. 13s were too quick for me. A lot of time to be made up on the flat section of the 1 and 20. What's the theory behind the buffer on the safety bike? It's the heaviest, it's the slowest, and it's the most ridiculous looking bike that I could find. And I'm just out for a ride. Not racing, not setting PBs or a time or anything. So, just out to look ridiculous. Get some K's in the legs. Dublin, good morning. How do I get the lightweights? Asked Anthony. Okay, good question. That's what today's lightweight Meilenstein challenge is about. So, at the top of Alpha Zwift is a spin wheel. Alpha Zwift is different to every other hill on Zwift that you get the different heads up display, uh, the breakdowns and things. And that spin wheel at the top, which is a prize wheel. Oh, I'm loving these rests. <laughs> uh, and it's a random prize, they say it's random. I think it can read your thoughts because every time you want the wheels, you get the gloves. There's a challenge to get five times up. You unlock a badge, there's a challenge or a badge to unlock 25 times up. I haven't got that one yet. But I also haven't got the wheels. The lightweight Meilensteins. So, in a few minutes, well, however long it takes me, we shall spin the wheel. And either I'll be happy, or either I'll be, either be doing this again probably tomorrow or the next day, <laughs> until we get those damn wheels. <laughs> if I think gloves, I mean I get the wheels. I think that's why it works, Michael. I think that's it. <laughs> uh, oh, don't tell me the helmet, no. But I think the more we talk about it, the less chance I have is getting the wheels at the top too. <laughs> pretty over, it got 12.30, yeah. I think Canty went pretty hard up there and did 30k average up the 1 and 20. Mine's only 27 k's now, I think 28. Best 2 million drop purchase. I raise you 3.5 million drops for the safety bike. Ah, oh, 4% feels like a walk in the park. This is good. And it kicks again. No more gears. How many times have I already ridden the L? I think it's 11 or 12. G'day. <laughs> I'll have to cover my, uh, my macros. That's really handy. I can just send back a g'day to people with one button press. Four helmets and 18 gloves. Oh, don't tell me stories like that. We're gonna get the wheels today. We have to get the wheels today. Positive thoughts. It's Easter. How many times did we find out? Strava segments. If you go to the Strava ride, uh, and have a look at your results, it should have the amount of times you've gone up. In game, it tracks it somehow. So it wouldn't surprise me if in the log file, it reports that too. 
But I don't know. Does training difficulty setting effect drop accumulation? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think so. I believe drops are all about the effort that you're doing in relation to your FTP, the gradient you're on, the thumbs up that you're getting. Uh, what else? That's it, I think. So you'll see my drops at the top there. It goes drop, thumb, drop, thumb. So it's in accelerated mode because I've been given a ride on lately. If that thumb wasn't there, it would be drop hill, drop hill, above 3%. <laughs> Everybody's thinking helmet. Oh, everyone's gonna tune in for it. We've got 500 concurrent viewers. That's amazing. I do appreciate every viewer. I do look at the numbers. I try and make my content informative. Not too annoying. And for 500 people in the chat, that's uh, that's good going. I'm happy with that. 523, wow. If you stood me in front of 523 people in real life, that'd be scary. I'm not a public speaker. Public reading is a fear. But if you saw today's video, I'll try and make a challenge of it to read out things like change log notes and things. I think they come across okay. It might take me a few takes. But uh, no media training, no speaking training, no, I'm a nerd from way back. So, I keep an eye on what the news readers do, hence my newsroom look to the green screen stuff. <laughs> I haven't passed Francis. Francis will be on the descent by now. Let's go find Francis and flip over to a, uh, a follow view here. Cade VEV. -E Where's Francis? He's on the descent, there we go. <laughs> so we're in view mode now. That's Francis ripping down. Oh, he's on the top. Is that legal in V everything? Can you see on the top tube, Francis? <laughs> so he's accumulated 2,100 meters of climbing in three hours there. Francis just starts up there going for the full double Everest. Oh, for that camera angle. Alrighty, back to me. Yeah, go for it. 534 concurrent viewers. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure if Cam got the wheels. I'd assume so, so. Is it 17 climbs? Or is that for the... That's for the double. Yeah, that's for the double, yep. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm fine, thank you. Got my swan here beside me. Vaughn, say good day, Vaughn. Hang on. <laughs> Your hand's coming out of nowhere. Erg mode or manual when training on Zwift? Depends what you want to do. Erg mode has its place. I love and hate Erg all at once. Just the once up here today, John. Oh, that easy. <laughs> it's a slog. <clears throat> all right, right on Francis. If you have the app, which I'll pull up here, jump over, search for Francis, Cade space VEV, we'll get the search term to find Francis straight away. Add him as a friend, give him a ride on, and uh, support what he's up to. He's in for the long haul. He's also live streaming this, I believe, for the, the whole duration. I 
I haven't done an Everest, no. No, no, it's too far for me. <laughs> Alrighty. Any updates on the Suto Erg? No. No, no. Soon, I hope. But resistance wise, here, power wise, it's all looking pretty good. I'll ping Elite again this week. They will definitely be all working from home. Andrea, thank you for subscribing. No Twitch, no, no. Look at this. I have more concurrent viewers than I have followers on Twitch. So, this is where it's at. All right. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're not there yet. Llama or alpaca? Llama. But if you can't get the full thing, go the alpaca. <laughs> FTP of 208. How long do you think it'll take you to do the Alpha Zwift? Absolute watts are hard to tell. You need watts per kilo. That'll give you an indication of uh, how fast you're moving. <laughs> we could fake up on llama drives given we can't drive anywhere. I'm all for that. Or do we get a tow truck like they do for that uh, James Corden's uh, driving with the, the famous people. Francis Strang going mad with ride-ons. Awesome, someone drop in a g'day. We would have crossed paths somewhere here. If you're still going tomorrow, I might join him for another one. We'll see how what we're doing with the family. Uh, you can dual stream, yes. Ah, oh, sorry, Craig, it's pounds. I can't do the calculation to kilos. <laughs> Oof. No, this. I'm not even looking at my power for these. This is just turning it over at a comfortable cadence. I have no idea what my FTP is. You're hovering around 300, I think. But given where it used to be, I don't want to know now. <laughs> uh, Darren, dual-sided or single-sided? My answer is going to be the same regardless, but just so we know what we're comparing. Ramp test grip ride, right? yeah. That would be brutal. That would be brutal. Single, I'd go with a pseudo. But you need to know if your left-right balance is correct or not. <clears throat> but a single-sided Shimano based are typically pretty good for what they measure. Trainers after I test them, uh, if I can hang on to them for the lifespan of the trainer. So for all the firmware updates that come out, I do. If not, they just go back. Something like the Kicker Core, I try and hang on to those because as we saw not so recently but a couple of months back, the new firmware updated out for the Core which gave it cadence as well, which is pretty cool. What am I watts per kilo peak at? When I was racing, 5.4, five, 5.5, five, I think. No, we need that now. Most ride-ons in a single ride, I don't know. Somebody was commenting on that over on Zwift Riders today. Um, I, I can't 
stop them. <laughs> Sorry. There's not much I can do. Oof. Can we do it under the hour? No. What have we got? Four minutes. Well, sir. Depends what my PB was for the last segment. It's all about those wheels. What's my PR on this segment? Oh, it disappeared. Jim, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> Three minutes, come on. I was only watching the clock at the last bit there. It's gonna be close. I've just turned a walk in the park, relatively walk in the park, to a soccer fest. Yeah, okay, good. Now I'm toast. <laughs> I've got a buffer. Four ice, Precision Pro, or Asioma. Depends what you need. Not a precision pro on a Shimano crank. Not the jewel. I've got to moderate the chat. At 404 watts, come on. Let's do it. <coughs> come on, wheels. Let's do it. No, no, I can still, I can still play the clock here. Six hundred watts for wheels. All right. Come on wheels, come on wheels, come on wheels. Vaughn's crazy. I have no words. I have no words. We shall not be defeated. We shall not be. I don't care what you're saying, chat. Not listening. Not listening. We will not be defeated. That hour 12 was worth it. That was hard to say. Oh. However, today's about those who are the Everesting, not me. That's just a bit of fun. Um, I'm only going up once. We'll go up again tomorrow. And they said 600 watts, I did 800. <laughs> we'll go up again. I'll choose another trainer. We'll pull one out of the garage. And we'll do it again tomorrow. Maybe. Oh, sorry to let everyone down, but hey, it's out of my control. Lol. That's hilarious. <laughs> At least I can just spin up this stream and say, uh, round two or round 12 or 13 or something. Wow. <laughs> Off eBay, yeah. Well, 
I'll have to put in the video notes fast forward to what is it an hour 14 to be disappointed Ah, uh, TV guy, how are you? Five bucks, thank you. <laughs> there's, there's my coffee for tomorrow. Uh, oh, cheers, Ali. Now we'll get back to Ali here. Cheers. Oh, I missed the high mate there. Ah, back down. Well, I'm, of course I'm going back down. Well, the, uh, the lights look awesome here. Hey, mate, is it going to pull back that shot or did I just miss that? I'm a bit blurry eyed at the moment. No, I haven't, haven't got the pullback shot. Look at the Aurora effect there, that's super cool. There we go, so if we zero that and we pull out a bit harder. I'm going the wrong way. Go Joe GP, yeah. Ah, that's all a bit of fun. That is all a bit of fun. I've got, that's, it was a nice little goal to try and aim for. We'll, we'll do it again. We'll do it again with a 28 or a 30 on the back <laughs> or maybe I do it on the kicker bike where we can program the gears in real time um, for those who haven't heard my story about that I was up there up the Alp on the kicker bike a, a few weeks back with the tilt and it's going up and up and I'm grinding away grinding away having a horrible time um, it has multiple Bluetooth connections so I could connect to it via the phone reprogram the gears on it I upped it to a 12 speed Shimano road with a 32 on the back and then bang I had an extra gear like as I was riding along it's super nerdy to do that not everyone like that's just not what you'd buy it for but that little instance that I needed that the extra gear brilliant maybe not Buffalo bike I, I thought riding a slower bike would give us more of a chance I thought going up on a mountain bike would give me more of a chance to get those milestones but it didn't happen. That laser beam comes out of the observatory there. Mick's Kalhari Valley Kicks. <laughs> Cheers, Mick. <laughs> Shane Exotic. Ah, <laughs> oh, how fun was Tiger King? What an escape though. Like that I think that's what everyone likes, Tiger King. It's just an escape to another reality that is so foreign to everyone. Uh, speaking of Netflix, we watched um, Unorthodox, uh, four-part series. Um, amazing. If someone is looking for another, and I, I hope to get some, if anyone's got some other Netflix um, recommendations as well, uh, Tiger King definitely and Unorthodox. Just, yeah, the Unorthodox one, just a four-part view. We finished watching that today. Um, another seven times, no. Yeah, watch that one. It's it's the acting and the storytelling in Unorthodox is amazing. Really, really grabs your emotions. Again, so if you want some escapism, which is what television and this sort of stuff does for us, there's some recommendations. Icarus, oh, oh, Icarus. That, that twists and turns. I knew nothing of it when I first started watching. And when you first see an Icarus, yeah, the way that changes throughout the story which is a documentary. Oh, yeah, so Icarus as well. <clears throat> so you watched uh, Unorthodox, really sad, or Tiger King? Both could be considered very sad, yeah. The Kamansky Method. Okay, there we go, done, thank you. Ozark. I was showing my age now, but I did look up at how many, um, how many episodes of Twin Peaks there were. There's 48. And I think we're almost at the point now where 48 episodes or something is actually probably consumable, given we can't do much else. <laughs> Except ride Elp to Zwift and get kicked in the behind by that spin wheel. <laughs> ah, oh good, oh good. Oh, that was it. We're dropping viewers. All oh, good. If you were here just for that, thank you for coming along. If you're hanging around, um, I'll just be here calling down and um, catching up with everybody in chat here. If you have any questions, fire away. If I've missed your question, I apologize. I just pump it up again. Max's 18th birthday present will be my the wheels again. <laughs> 11th time up, okay. I'll, I'm gonna go through the log file when I'm finished here and see if it logs how many times I've been up.
Have I ever used a power line adapter to run Ethernet over power? Do they work? They probably work, but using a technology that isn't, wasn't really designed to do that, I'm not that comfortable with. Um, my requirements here aren't as heavy duty, I guess, as what things used to be. So I run uh, just Google Mesh, Google Wi-Fi, three, three um, access points around the house um, and switch everything over to five gig and everything's fine. Daniel Isaac, how you doing? Why did we get over 600 watts at the top? We had to try something different. I think most people just suffer over the line and that's it. So it may have been a part of the code where if you're going hard, you're rewarded more. We just gave that a shot. I'll have a look on the, uh, the segment times on Strava after this. Fleabag on Amazon Prime. Okay, that's another one. I'm writing these down. Actually, I'm saving the chats being saved, so. Retention rate of new users once lockdown is over. Um, on Zwift, don't know. Don't know, I think, uh, well, we don't know when lockdown will be over and how gradual that will be, whether it will be, hey, everyone's fine, let's go. Or things slowly emerge country by country. We Yeah, there's just so much unknown about everything at the moment, so. We don't know. Uh, Ali Mac, if you ride uh, uh, or find one of your rides on Strava, go to the Elder Zwift segment, which is I think the Zwift Insider verified segment, it's the only one there now. Go to your results on Strava. And you, it should say, you know, number blah of how many you've done on Strava. That would almost be a good Zwift tip. Just try and find out how many times you've written up something. Um, I might do that one tomorrow. Um, if anybody has any tips as well, feel free to send them over. Um, email or uh, comments or things like that. If you've got something, I, mean, I don't know it all. I'm searching for cool things every day or how to solve problems or, or do something interesting. Um, and the goal is to you know, build the channel to be able to share all of that and to, to demystify some of the tech. The OBS one was cool. That video, uh, how to live stream your ride and how to do all of this. Ah, thank you for the, the $2, much appreciated. The OBS stuff is really easy to do, but you just need a few of those key components. And if people were watching closely, that's the first time I've done a full body green screen. I've walked, I didn't walk into the shot. I stood there, but I had to have the green screen. Oh yeah, it's all a lot of, a lot of work for a very short piece of video, but I think it looked cool. With that, if you can get a full body green screen, you can put yourself anywhere. You can actually move, you can, I could be on a head unit or I could pop up anywhere. You can do a ton of filtering stuff. It's kind of cool. You don't just have to sit there in front of a, a desk or something. Um, that's why I thought that'd be interesting if I could stand there and explain the setup. I could have done it in the Llama Lab and shown everything that I have here, but what I have here is a little different to the vanilla setup. I've got, two computers and two screens and the hue light strip here and other lighting which if I was to show that as a here's how basic everything is people would look at that and go yeah right what the hell is all of this um, similar to my Zwift on a budget from years and years and years ago which is still doing really well and it was Zwift on a budget how to do it very cheap and people then did point out that I had a seven thousand dollar bike on there or whatever it was at the time um, and it was a MacBook Pro people were saying not quite on a budget so I think the way I presented the um, OBS one with the white screen, that looked all right. And that's, that video had multiple segments of the intro, the white screen, and then the uh, walkthrough on the computer. That was fun to do because then I, when I popped up on screen, you saw me from this camera here facing me inside the video, explaining the video. They're fun to edit. It takes a while, but they're fun to edit. Ah, you stream with a green screen. Cool, yeah. I think it looks good. Some people do okay with a box behind them. They'll put a box, but as long as there's an, an outline around that or there's some um, border, just to separate it. And that doesn't take much to do. The screen I have here, I think, let me check the screen here. There are so many little tricks. So I have a black border around the Zwift screen just beside me here. That's just a black box. That's all just a black box. Just so it separates it from 
It gives a bit of a shadow. The Predator. Oof. Okay. If you don't own a green screen, that doesn't matter. You can still do everything. The best part about the OBS stuff, OBS is free to download. And you can set everything up and not have to go live. You can set things up and do the recording. In my video, you saw me record um, just a short section of video to check the audio levels. Look at all these people Everesting. Oh, is Francis here? Uh, hey, <laughs> found Francis. <laughs> what a fluke. Let's do it. Hey, Cade. Got him. Ha <laughs> Oof. That means I got right up healing in, isn't it? Ugh. Where's Cade? I'm not going back up. I'll go to the next corner. <laughs> He's got a, a posse riding with him. Totally. So the way I spotted that was uh, there was a big group of them but also on the mobile app because France, I've added Francis as a friend he pops up as a uh, you can't see it here yeah as a dot so Francis at the moment is double Everesting which is going to take a long time We'll ride for a few minutes here. Good crew. <laughs> wheels. <laughs> I won't get the wheels. I've got to go to the, I think you've got to get to the bottom back to the top to get the wheels. There would be a good test. How far do you need to go down to get back up? I think it's the whole way. Didn't get the wheels. I got another set of gloves. Hard to tell where you're riding with and who with that shorter Zwifters nearby list. Where's Fkade? Where are you, Fkade? Well, he's got a ton of people. That is cool. Okay, my multi ride ons, there they go, dropping down. <laughs> Can I wave? Hey, Francis is verified too. Oh, hey. I think Francis has bodyguards. That's cool to see. So, yeah, search for Francis, give him a ride on. Uh, check out his stream, definitely. 17th attempts, not intense. <laughs> oh, 40 RPM. This would be a hard one to pace. This would be a good one for the kicker bike. You put a virtual 50 tooth on the back. Go full eagle. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome to be able to join him just for a little bit. Just to see the whole group of them there, give them all right ons. They're taking away verified badges. No, no. All right. I think I'll uh, I'll drop out of this one and get the K's in the bottom. Uh, I can't even type. Good luck, Fkade. <sighs> That's better. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Oh, my knees. And there he goes. You can see on the phone there. He's just appearing up the other way. That's cool. That is... Who would have thought a few years ago that that's even possible on a training software just to see someone you know, spin around, <laughs> give them a couple of ride-ons, 
That's cool. Would wattage be that inaccurate using a dumb trainer and speed and cadence sensor? Uh, it, that depends, Dan, on what trainer it is. Z power or estimated power can be accurate. It can be way off. Typically, it's not accurate. <laughs> there are so many variables, though. Tire pressure, tire type, tube type, uh, roller, condition, age of the trainer. Uh, altitude, you're right. if you take a Le Monde uh, revolution to altitude, the readings will be all off because it's a wind trainer. Slane and I were doing some training up in Falls Creek, which is 1500 meters elevation. And we had to go down two gears than where we normally were for the same cadence because it's it's different air pressures. Um, typically your wheel on trainer won't have issues with air pressure or anything, but it's really accurate. It, they can be close. I've done some testing with the Le Mans Revolution at about 68 meters of elevation, which is next to nothing. Um, and it was pretty good. It's never, you're never gonna get the spikes in the sprints, but that was okay. That's just one though. And that's a pretty well-known trainer, the nice curve. Others can be well out. Um, why when I touch the companion app to give rider on most of the time it just highlights a rider so giving multiple ride ons uh, it depends it, it will give up to five ride ons I don't know the algorithm it's up to five but if you've already given ride ons to that, that person um, it'll only give out one maybe none look at how many people are riding up that is phenomenal When they built the Alp, a lot of people rode up once or twice and said, that's nice, we're done. Um, I didn't expect to see that many people continuing to, to tackle that. And it's not just the V Everest, they're people just out for a ride. Amazing. <clears throat> How does a kicker bike simulate large gear ratios when it has no real gears, um, but a real flywheel? Uh, it would need to spin the flywheel at a low speed to provide the right amount of momentum. Hugh, they have, the guy behind the kicker bike is a, a PhD in maths, I think, or physics or something. It, it, he's a really smart dude and they've done some really, really interesting things with that bike. Um, I believe it operates at a, a thousand hertz. So at a thousand hertz you can do a lot with uh, ride feel. Oh, we'll get out of the dirt here. We'll go back over to where we started Just to try and spin my knees out a bit. That was a grind for an hour All for some gloves Pretty happy with the gloves secretly. I was hoping for the gloves and I'm lying <laughs> All right Morning from Ohio. Hi from Ohio Early Zwifters Ohio was an in-joke when it was with was in beta because someone would say hi where are you from and almost always someone would say Ohio so we all adopted Ohio is where we were from when anybody asked so if you ever see an in-joke on Zwift riders that says hi I'm from Ohio less so lately because it's now an old joke I don't know why that ever took off but <laughs> Will there be aero bars for the kicker bike? We can put them on now. It'll take a set of clip-ons straight away. But clip-ons with blips, haven't seen any yet. Haven't seen any additions. I was hoping with the bikes across all vendors, they'd release the bike and then in quick succession release the other components and additions. The bikes have been released and that's about it. There has been a firmware update for a number of them. Um, but I want to see more features, more customizations and things. Die, how do you get onto the Alp? You need to be at least level six or seven, I think, to get to the Alp. But if you choose um, Road to Sky is the route you need to choose if you're of a certain level in Zwift. 
So you'll see up there in orange my level. I'm level 50 because I've ridden Zwift a lot. Um, but you need to be at least that level to get through those green archways. Or you can join an event that goes up that route. Or you could probably, and I haven't tested this yet myself, I've spoken about it, but I haven't tested it. If you create your own meetup and ride your own meetup with that route, I think it'll unlock it without being, oh, you're level 11, done. You're an experienced Swifter. Yeah, yeah, so choose Road to Sky and it will take you up there. If not, you can go Jungle Route and use the steering, the arrows. Alp versus Pretzel, toughest to finish. Oh, I had a harder time on the Alp with the Oat Route. Depends how hard you ride. A lot of people ask the same question about what course is it in real life. You know, what's a good race course or what's a hard course to race? What's an easy course to race? That depends on the competition. So to apply that to Zwift and that question depends on how hard you ride and how you pace it. Uh, the pretzel, that, was it the pretzel that I did on the last? Yeah, it was the pretzel. That was okay. We did the pretzel, look at all these bunches coming through. That's cool. Right on. Um, I got through that pretty well. Yeah, that top of the Alp route. Ugh. Stephen Wu says right on. Hey, hey Stephen. Uh, we are cooling down, Cristobal. We've gone and done the Alp. We didn't get the wheels. So I'm just uh, cooling down out of the jungle. Oh, left knee. That's what I'm feeling right now. Uh, longest swift ride, 417 k's, I think it was 13 hours. That was a while ago. Just gonna cool down out of the jungle here, back onto the tarmac, and we'll call it a day. And we'll, uh, I guess we'll head up again. We'll head up again and try and get those wheels. <clears throat> 378 concurrent viewers. I appreciate everyone coming along for the ride. It makes the time go a lot faster for me. And uh, hopefully people enjoy the chat. We have the sloth coming up. That's gonna be me in about 20 minutes on the couch. Hey sloth. <laughs> Gloves tomorrow. Oh. Uh, what is this in not intense thing? Okay. There was a Strava segment on Zwift that became very famous. I think it's gone as of today. It was called First Attempt Very Intense. So the word intense was spelt incorrectly. And I think it's somebody who rode Zwift very very early on and created that segment on Strava so it must have been their first attempt at Zwift very intense just hit go and that was on t-shirts that's an in-joke I guess you'd see elsewhere maybe Zwift riders maybe in some forums but that's what that's about everyone asks how's Zwift, how, how was your first Zwift ride it's always very intense just as a, a silly bit of a joke but as memes are. So I think what Yugo was saying before was if you've ridden up um, the Alp 17 times, you wouldn't be doing it very intensely. So it'd be like 17th attempt, not very intense. That was my read on the joke there anyway. Hopefully that explains it. Nerds do the best in jokes. Nerds do the worst of relevant jokes that no one else gets. <laughs> Uh, Avanesh, I'm only riding just for a, uh, a couple more minutes here as I cool down. Uh, I suggest everyone go over and check out uh, Francis Cade after this. Give him a ride on. Francis is doing a double Everest. And uh, raising some cash for the NHS, I believe, over there in the UK at the same time. Awesome. I got the dumb joke. And I explained it. <laughs> 
uh, follow-up video on the kicker bike. I'm going to have to convince Vaughn to do a follow-up video on the kicker bike because she's the one who's been riding it so much. Um, kicker bike, nothing has changed since my four-part series on that. Uh, still holding up well. I uh, love the gearing, love the, uh, the levers on it, the adjustability. Um, Real-time reprogramming of the gears is cool. Cheers, Bob Fob. Thanks for coming along. Hunt wheel review. Adam Lopez. Uh, when we can ride outside again, I could get some good shots and some more Ks. Uh, in summary, those wheels that I have, they've been fine. Riding them all summer. Uh, I had one rear spoke come loose. A uh, quick twist and that was fine. But what I did is take that rear wheel to the local bike shop and said to them, just uh, you know, check over this wheel. I've had one spoke come loose after a few thousand Ks. Check over the wheel and tell me, is it? You know, give me your opinion. Um, so the mechanic there grabbed the wheel, put it in the machine. I said, be honest with me because I, I want, you know, don't sugarcoat it or don't, you know, I want to know the, the honest truth about it. He's like, actually, it's pretty good. He, uh, he twisted up the spoke, got the spoke back on. I've just used my spoke tool to get it right. And then he's just retreated everything spot on. Um, and he was pretty happy with it. He said, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good build. Um, water ingress, they do fill it with water. If you're riding a lot in the rain or the wet, that's, they're not the wheels to get. Um, over in Adelaide with uh, DC Rainmaker, riding with Ray. And rain came along. How about that? <laughs> he's the rainmaker. Uh, and the next day, I could see something slushing around in the wheels. Uh, that's a known and published issue with them as well. Even on their FAQ on their website, they mention about that. Which is a bit of a... Uh, but I'm a fair weather rider. So, they're still on the bike. And I think that's, that's probably the best uh, rain in Adelaide, Adel Adel mate. This year's tour down under was a weird week. It was a weird week for weather. We stayed near the beach and we didn't get to the beach. Uh, recently tried RGT, no, not recently. I did try it when they switched over to RGT screen and RGT mobile. It's just to see how that worked with the two app requirement. Um, haven't ridden it since. I just from a usability perspective, found it a bit weird that they locked out. The screen was just the screen. You couldn't mouse on anything, you couldn't pair anything. They'd locked out mouse and keyboard. You just load the screen and that is it. That was weird. But I understand where, they, where that could be really, really beneficial. Um, is it Google Stadia for running that game in the cloud and have everything controlled on the mobile? That could be very cool. Did that put me reverse Alp? Oh man. Okay, we'll go down the hill to the bridge then, will we, if it's downhill. So I think they're probably a few years ahead of where that tech and that um, that setup will be really beneficial. You can do an FTP test on Zwift using ergmo, but only the step test, not the 20 minute test, no. The 20 minute test should be in level mode. Because if you had a 20 minute test in erg, it will set the ceiling and you can't go above that. You can't go any further, which won't give you an accurate uh, estimation of your FTP. So erg for the step test, level mode for the 20 minute test. It should do that itself. You don't have to change uh, modes or anything. Am I gonna keep riding until I get the wheels? Uh, I'll keep riding the hill, but not today, no. I'm just gonna go down the hill over here we can get an extra couple of Ks. But, yeah, no luck in getting the wheels at the top of uh, Alta Swift. We'll finish up on the bridge today. I'll roll down the bridge. Just up the road here, so almost done. Best setup if money was no object, you'd move to a beautiful sunny island and ride outdoors all day long. If you're stuck indoors, Kicker bikes up there. Uh, the massive screen in front of you. 
lots of fans, um, some good tunes. But I think you can get pretty close with what's out there at the moment. Here we go, here's our bridge. All right, we'll finish up here. Uh, apologies if I've missed your question. Um, but that's been great. I, I do like these rides for the in-game chat there, or the in-stream chat. Makes my time go a lot quicker, and hopefully everybody enjoys the banter, watches me suffer, and watches the frustration of not getting those wheels. <laughs> we'll be back. We will be back. Oh, all right. <laughs> there we go. It's a good screen to end up on. <laughs> oh, that was a decent cool down though after that knee grinder. What if I go camera angle zero here? Do I get a really cool shot? No, not so much. Whoa! They did bungee jumping in game. That looks pretty cool. There's a hidden beach over there. We need a... I had no idea there were beaches over there. Anyway. They are definitely bungee dropes. Look at that though. We've got to be able to bungee off that one day. Cool, cool. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks everybody for coming along. Uh, have a great Easter. Call your family. Eat lots of chocolate. That's what it's about. Easter's going to be a bit different this year, I guess, for everybody. Um, but video calls is how we're going to be doing it this year. It's uh, Zwift ordered a bunch of new gloves. <laughs> we'll be back again to try for those Merlinsteins, Milesteins. And uh, I'll have to check how many times I've been up that. That'd be 12 or 13 or so. We've got to be close. I was pretty confident we would get them today. If that's how many times I've been up, but wasn't to be. All right, have a good day uh, or evening or morning and uh, jump on your bike, get it in a few Ks and uh, give out some ride-ons like I'm doing right there. There you go, done deal. All right, we may see you tomorrow. If not, have a great Easter and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching, guys.